Guyana is actually a founding member of the Committee on the Inalienable Rights of the Palestinian People. And we have continuously advocated for the two-state solution. And we believe that this is the ultimate solution in the crisis that we face right now. And while what we see is unprecedented, we also believe that there's opportunity in this to move forward that process. I would say to our Palestinian brothers and sisters and to our Israeli brothers and sisters that we hope that even though at this point in time, we see disaster and destruction in Gaza and we see the wider complications of this in Palestine, we would like to see Israel and Palestine living side by side in peace and security and in harmony. We believe it is time. Guyana has taken up the presidency of the United Nations Security Council one month after it took up its two-year seat on that international body. And though it has a packed agenda for the presidency, Ghana's ambassador to the United Nations, Carolyn Rodriguez Burkett, told a New York press briefing on Thursday that the country remains firm on its call for a ceasefire in Gaza. Beyond this, Ghana will preside over several meetings this month and it will host its signature event on climate change and food security on February 13. On the 13th of February, we will host a high-level open debate focusing on the impact of climate change and food insecurity on the maintenance of international peace and security. The meeting will be chaired by the President of Guyana, His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali. Our Foreign Minister, um, Honorable Hugh Todd, will also be here for the meeting. The topic chosen is one that Guyana attaches high importance to. Um, the meeting will examine the dynamic relationship between climate change, food insecurity, and conflicts within the context of maintaining international peace and security. Ambassador Rodriguez Burkett also said the Haiti crisis is a key focus of Guyana. Reporting for the newsroom, Vishani Ragabir.